Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I always like to share with you things that I find useful and that I learned recently. Things that you can apply on your parenting journey or in your business. This time is about privacy and I will show you how I log my WhatsApp on my iPhone. You may have your reasons, maybe you share your iPhone with your child and if you are keeping business conversations on your WhatsApp, then it might happen that your child accidentally either calls or types in a conversation with your boss and you don't want to. Or maybe you forgot your iPhone on your boss or colleague's desk or you left your phone in a friend's or family member house. So here is how you can do it. Okay, so let's go to our phones now. The first thing that you're gonna do is go and open your WhatsApp. Now let's go to settings and tap on account, then go to privacy and scroll down until you see screen lock. Then enable face ID. Here you can choose between do it immediately or after one minute or after 15 minutes or even after one hour. When you enable this, it means that you will need to use Face ID to unlock WhatsApp. If your Face ID doesn't unlock WhatsApp, then you can enter your iPhone passcode. You can still reply to messages from notifications and answer calls if WhatsApp is locked. Okay, so now I have um, done this change uh, and it says immediately I'm gonna go away from WhatsApp and this is what happens. Once you open your WhatsApp and I'm turning it away, it says enter iPhone passcode for WhatsApp. Face ID is required to use WhatsApp. So if I turn my, my face like this, it says use face ID. So I'm gonna tap on use face ID and it unlocks automatically. Then if you want to disable this feature, you can just turn it off here as well by going to your WhatsApp and then go to settings, tap on account, then go to privacy and scroll all the way down until you see screen lock and then tap on disable require face ID. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about this or if you have any other suggestions of videos that you would like me to make. I really hope you find this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to click on the like button and on that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.